My area is buried in paper that I haven't gotten to. Bob does not believe he's a hoarder. It's not up to me to tell him that, but the signs are everywhere. <laughs> hey, this isn't even open. What is it? Crossbow arrows. For emergency supplies? Yeah. The situation that we're in might be tilted my way a little bit, simply because I don't have time to do what I need to do. I have never seen Bob intentionally get rid of things. Even if they're broken, he keeps them, thinking maybe we'll fix them. I've got some copper pipe here. We had a new door installed, so I was gonna install it in copper, but another thing I haven't had time to do. I don't really consider myself to be a major hoarder. 90% of this is probably my stuff. Zika, come here, up here. He's contributed to the problem. In the last year or so, Sitka has made a lot of messes. Sitka jumps from place to place, and he's always knocking things over. These shades, he'll put his claws in them and yank them down. That's a shower curtain hanging there. He decided that he wanted to see outside, so he just tore it down. This is hard on yeah. him, too, to live in this situation. We had a cactus out here oh my gosh, in the, the dining room, and he slipped one day and got spines in him. We got rid of the cactus, That's kept the cat. Well, Lori and Bob's cat, Sitka, is backstage, so let's see how he's behaving backstage. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He wants out. Yeah, he hasn't knocked anything over. He's it's good. Yeah, he's behaving quite well. He's wondering where you guys are. Yeah. You say he's a clutter bug. I, I say this is a hoarding nightmare here. And it, it's real easy to figure this out. I mean, there are simple questions. Do you have trouble parting with possessions? like discarding, recycling, selling, or giving away stuff. I'm working two jobs, and I don't have time to do it. And if Lori can't do it, then it doesn't get done. So that would be a yes to me, based on results. It doesn't right, get done. Right. Because of the clutter, how difficult is it to use the rooms, surfaces, countertop, beds, sinks, tubs, et cetera, in your home? Extremely difficult. OK. To what extent does your hoarding affect your daily functioning. I mean, this stuff affects your daily functioning, right? Yes. It does. Yeah. How much do these symptoms interfere with work, social life? What's a social life? It's been 10 years. How much we distress do these symptoms cause you? Lots. Uh, I, are you sure it bothers you? Yes. I know I'm it sure. bothers me a lot. So you're five for five. Yeah. I guess I'm probably a way more of a hoarder than she is, for sure. Yeah. And you're both living as hoarders. You, you may be the one that drives it, but you're both living that way, so. I'm on the horse with him. But you don't want to continue living this way. I, we do not. What do you want to do instead? Find a way to get this place cleaned out and mm. go about a normal life. Maybe, it would, I mean, long term is what we want to do is I want to be able to sell the house once we get it cleaned up and uh, be able for Lori and I and Sitka to go on the road, get a, a camper or a motor home and uh, spend some time together and just enjoy life. You guys have been in this place for how long? Seven, Seven years. years at this house. So days turn into weeks, weeks turn into months, and months turn into seven years. Yes. And it's getting worse, not better. Correct. And you're getting older, not younger. Mm -hmm. And you, you have no plan to clean it up. You've got no plan, to, and it'd be a little hard to sell. It, it, bring a realtor over to tour this, you're in a pickle. Like, uh, yeah, no thanks. <laughs> right. <laughs> Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.